The entire family is attending the funeral. In this week's uprising, this man has lost his only son. Omar Beck joined in the protest against the government, believing it to be corrupt and indifferent to the fate of its people. A sniper killed him. We went to identify him at the morgue. He was out on the square, protesting so that people could have better lives. Omorbek lived in one of Bishkek's poorest neighborhoods. Half of the Kyrgyz people live below poverty line, and in these villages on the outskirts of the capital, they barely get by. Life is tough. We have no water, no electricity. We've tried to lay down our own lines, but even that doesn't work. So we use a stove for heating. We get nothing from the state. On Bishkek's main square, it's now time for mourning and prayers. More than 75 people were killed and 1,500 injured in this week's clashes as anger over election fraud and ever higher taxes exploded into a collective revolt. All this blood spilt. What do you think it's for? Is it because life is beautiful that they went and died? The people don't live very well and the state is rich. Local taxes have to come down immediately. The people cannot handle such high taxes. With President Bakiev ousted and for now out of sight, the opposition's interim government has promised its first measure will be to lower taxes. Bishkek's poor hope it will be the first step toward a better future.